What's up, Denzians of YouTube? This is my channel, Grumpy Badger 117. Um, I played a little bit of IL2 on my laptop. For the most part, I've been a console peasant, though. I, I just got into gaming on computer again back about a year and a half ago. Before that, I was mainly on consoles, but for some of you, some of you would like to know, you know, I played Jane 3.0 or whatever it was, Falcon 3.0, X-Wing on CD-ROM, MechWarrior 2. So back in the day, you know, in the 90s when I was a kid in middle school and early, early high school, uh, my freshman year, I, I played a fair amount of PC games. Beyond that, though, this was my first jump into DCS. I basically wanted a good flight sim. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. I also, quite frankly, didn't care. A lot of friends recommended it to me after I had been playing on a POS laptop, uh, IL-2 1946, for quite a while. And uh, that was a lot of fun. I played on full switch, flew my kite, the SPD-3 Dauntless, mainly, just because I'm an air ground kind of guy. It's just what I enjoy. I. Uh, without any head tracking, VR, etc. Situational awareness for me is not the highest that it could be, but in time it will. So yeah, this was my first time in DCS. I had no idea, again, like I said, what I was doing. So hope you enjoy the video. If you do, like it. If you want more, please subscribe. All right. And L. Oh, okay, so yeah, we can do that. Uh, canopy is left control and C. That's pretty good. I think that's the same controls that I had in Isle 2. Uh, we have independent engine startup, so left engine. I'm actually writing this all down on a notepad. Um, <laughs> left engine start, right alt, and home, right engine. Right control, and home. Take off and landing flaps. That's not good. I need to remap those to the joystick. Take off, landing, flaps, left shift. And F, throttle. What? Why is <clears throat> it's got my throttle rudder and what I think that should be on my hotas. All right, throttle up, page up, throttle. Down, page, down, rotor, left, Z, rotor, right, X, landing gear, G. Okay, we have no threat. <clears throat> Clouds at 2600. Wind ground 4 meters per second, 90 degrees. So wind is eh, negligible at 87 to 90 degrees. 
I always put the higher altitude first because that's actually more important. Um, all that's set in meters. And then radio frequency is Mozdoc. I have no idea what that means. I don't speak Russian. But we have uh, 137 megahertz, 41.6. 266 and 4.55 megahertz and then QFE R994.73 746.11 and 29.37 inches I doubt that means inches, but we can go ahead and hope that it does. The conversion rate between the, the three different ones, um, we can hope. Press pause break to start. Press pause break. No idea what that is. Oh, it's talking to me. what the alarm going off is, left, control, but so it's obvious the throttle is the throttle. Our next step is to start to rudder is rudder. Pitch and roll or pitch and roll. Uh, yeah, I have no eyes on. Oh, that's nice and immersive having the uh, Russian accent. Russian language, that's cool. Uh, so I'm getting a slight... So I'm getting actually a, a slight shadow on the ailerons, which is good. Damn alarms going off again. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, throttle's back. So we're going to go ahead and start turning on the engines. So we have right, alt, and home. And then right, control, and home to start the right engine. I got two lights in the center. With the left engine started, press right, control, and home to start the right engine. So, yeah, we got engines started up here. Off the lower left corner of the TV display is the engine gauge, with needles marked 1 and 2 for the two engines. When an engine is being started, one of the two green lights below the gauge will light. Once the light turns on, it indicates that the engine is ready for operation. In the lower left corner of the dash is an aircraft symbol that indicates the status of your flaps, landing gear, and air brake. Lower your flaps to the takeoff position by pressing left shift and down. We're now ready to attack. So slowly increase the throttle by moving the throttle. So I'm going to say the camera focal view on the mouse is actually not all that bad. I'm a little bit worried about sensitivity in case the mouse starts rolling around. Press W. Engines sound amazing. I can't adequately describe this. All right, here we go. Oh, I hope 
I'm going the right way. I think I'm going the right way. Oh, thank God. Top left corner of the HUD does not say 10. The top left corner of the HUD. As you taxi, these small, smooth rudder corrections. Do we have an analog control here? Go ahead and just let her slow down a little bit. I just want to see if we got. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking I can see right here. I'll focus in on it. The actual ground speed indicator. Okay, I know what that is. That's RPMs. Betting these are temperatures, they got a Celsius gauge. Looks like we got fuel tanks, clock. Uh, I'm guessing that's targeting navigation systems. We'll learn all that later. Artificial horizon, slip and yaw indicator here. Yeah, we'll be okay. Oop. At the fork, hang a right to reach the runway. Oh, I'm genuinely stuck. Push it. I'll stick in the cockpit. Thank you. Pressing F2 and return to the cockpit by pressing F1. You can zoom in and out using the keypad star and four slide keys. Rotate the views using the keypad directional keys. We've now reached the runway threshold. Taxi on the runway to the right and align yourself down. Uh, sensitivity on the SciTech. By Let's default, the doesn't runway. feel all too bad. To so, that's not too bad. Um, definitely see how this goes. Safe. Okay, powering up. So far, she's tracking a little bit to the left. Which unfortunately, I think has something to do with my stick. Go ahead and bring the gear up. I'm As mentioned before, your airspeed in kilometers per hour is indicated in the top left corner of the HUD. In the top right hand corner of the HUD is your altitude in meters. Between the altitude and speed indications is your heading tilt. The positive climb established, raise the landing gear by pressing G. In the center of the HUD is the pitch and roll indication. And along the right She's side a peach. Of the HUD is pitch ladder. We're airborne. Let's go ahead and go into external view and just take a look at what we got going on here. This concludes this lesson of starting up the SC-25T, taxiing, and taking off. You can end the lesson now by pressing the escape key. At this point, for some reason, OBS decided to no longer record the video. No idea what happened, but as you can see, I got a little cocky after this first flight. Uh, taking notes, I did the scantest minimum requirement of due diligence to try to figure some things out. At the time, you know, it's funny, I, I didn't know how to map or where the brakes were for the rudders. Because I don't have rudder pedals, so it has to be mapped somewhere else. Um, as a whole, though, it was a very fun flight. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit like. If you want more, hit subscribe. Fair winds.